Hello everyone, I cordially welcome you all to another video from the Python tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss what are comments in Python. So without any delay, let's get started. So the first thing which we are going to learn is why comments are useful in any programming language. Comments are an indispensable part of any programming language. A good piece of code is the one which a reader can understand. Comments are mainly used for this purpose. So always remember one advice, your computer can understand any code you provide, but only a good code can be understood by a reader. And how you make your code more readable? By writing comments. Comments about any function will basically help the newbies to understand what this function tries to accomplish. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Benefits of writing comments. Comments in Python have their own benefits. In Python, comments are ignored by the interpreter and hence they are used to make the code more readable. By putting comments in or around any block of code, we can explain the functionality of that piece of code. Interestingly, comments are also used to disable. The last but not the least, Python instructions to prevent comment from getting executed during testing or debugging phase. Okay, we have done enough of theory now. Let's go to VS Code and understand how we can create comments in Python. Welcome to VS Code. Here we have created our first Python file 1.py. So basically when you create any Python file, Python has an extension of .py. Okay. So here as I will provide a lot more code in our upcoming video tutorials. So for this first video, I am saying it 1.py. Okay. And here we will learn how we can write comments. So we write comments using this hash symbol. So hash, then you write, this is a comment. So this is basically a single line comment. Now if you go to the next line and write something, this will be a normal text. Okay. So this is not a comment. So even if you want to convert any normal text to a comment, you can come to the first and put a hash. Now, as soon as you put this hash, it will become a comment. So this is how we write single line comments in Python. We write by putting a hash before it. Now, how do we write multi line comments? We write multi line comments using three pairs of single quote. Okay. And once we have this in the middle, we can write our comment. This is a comment. It does nothing. This is just to learn. Okay, so this is how we write multi line comments. We write any amount of sentence or code within three pair of single quotes. Okay, sometimes this is referred as doc string in Python. Okay, so in case if you are not sure what is the other name of multi line comments in Python, this is doc string. And the name has come because majorly in Python, doc strings are used to write documentations for any function or any module. So majorly what the convention is in the first line, you write a little bit of description about the function. Then you give a space and in the next line, you write some extended description. Now under that line, again, you leave one line space and under that you write what are the arguments the function accepts and what is the type the function returns. Okay. Suppose if you have an addition function, you will write in the first line that this function does addition. Okay. Now you will give one line space and in the next line, you will write or you can write an extended description that this function accepts two arguments, adds them up and returns the value. Okay. Then again, after giving one line of space, you can write something like argument a, which is of type integer, or in case of Python, you can write number and b is also number and returns sum which is also of type number. Okay. So this is how we use doc strings to describe any function or any module which exists in Python. Okay. 
So I hope the concept of writing comments in Python is clear with you. For single line, we use hash. For multi line, we use three pair of single quotes, which is also known as doc strings. Okay. I hope you found this video informative. In case you like it, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We are going to bring more videos in future. For any queries, doubts, suggestions, or feedbacks, feel free to post them in the comment section. We are going to reply. So thank you for now. See you in the next video. Bye.